The Helix is such a powerful tool. You can get all the tones that you need to replace a pedal board and amp, even control Ableton or other software with it. But in this video, you're gonna learn how I automate my Helix snapshot changes with Ableton Live. I'll show you how to get your Helix to communicate with your Ableton Live machine and provide you with my pre-made Ableton MIDI clips. And finally, I'll show you a clip of it all in action. My name is Adam Bronick with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. At my church, my team is still growing. My worship team on a Sunday morning sometimes has another guitarist, but sometimes it's just me. And our culture is to play upbeat and building dynamic songs, which is a lot easier to do with electric guitar. Therefore, I end up playing electric gu guitar fairly often and sometimes some lead parts. My goal while on stage is to lead people in worship so that less I have to worry about stepping on the right guitar pedals at the right time, the more I can focus on engaging with and leading the congregation in worship. That's what I love about using these automation clips. I can lead with fewer distractions and still have the flexibility of leading from electric guitar. The same MIDI technology and method I'm going to show you can be used and applied towards automating Kemper, main stage, and other software slash hardware setups. But today, I'm gonna to specifically be showing you how to automate your Helix with Ableton Live. We'll start with connecting these two devices the machine running Ableton Live, and the Helix pedal board. Here at my church, I keep the Trax laptop at the drummer position. We have Ethernet jacks in the stage floor pockets and an Ethernet patch bay in the stage closet. I use a USB over Ethernet extender to keep the stage nice and clean. For the purposes of this video, I'll just be plugging in the Helix directly into my MacBook Pro. There are a few settings that need to be configured for this to work properly, so let's take a look at those now. In the Ableton preferences, there's a tab for link slash MIDI. So if you click that, it'll show all of your MIDI ports coming in and out. And there are three things that can be activated for each input and output, remote, track, and sync. Track allows for live to receive or send MIDI or CC messages. And because we're sending CC messages from Ableton live to the Helix, the output of the Helix on the tracks needs to be on. I also have Helix track enabled because I use the Helix to, tr to trigger the beginning of songs. On the Helix, I have the MIDI bass channel set to one. That's the standard when you make a new MIDI track in Ableton and as that's the only output on my Helix automation track, it's the Helix, so that's fine. Go to page two and turn MIDI over USB on and set MIDI PC receive and MIDI PC send to USB. So now that we're all connected, let's open up a multi-track session and put some clips in place. I'm going to use Line in the Lamb as an example. I like to access these clips quickly, so I've added it to my places in the browser on the left sidebar. I'm going to drag over the snapshot one clip into the bottom part of the screen at the beginning of the timeline because I start this song with snapshot one, intro. If you want to know what's happening behind the scenes here, the snapshot parameter of the Helix is changed by the MIDI control change message number 69. The velocity of the control change determines the snapshot number. So for example, velocity zero is snapshot one. Velocity one is snapshot two. Velocity three is snapshot three etc etc so you notice that this created a new track let's make sure that this track is set up properly so we want there to be no input this track is only sending midi cc information out not receiving it so the output needs to control the helix so we will select helix for that now you can navigate the session and either drag in or copy and paste the clips where you want the changes to happen i like to play through the transitions to make sure it adjusts at the right spot so let's automate this song i've already done this once so i'll delete it and redo it for you guys this song starts with the intro so if we play along the beginning of it it's going to go to the intro section So we're about to come up on a verse. Let's listen to this. I know that verse is snapshot two, so let's pull that in here and let's see if it happens at the right time. Let's 
Cool. So you do this for the entire song. I know that my next section is going to be a chorus, and that is snapshot three. So I'll pull that in here. And it switches to the chorus snapshot. So you can go through the whole song, and once I'm done with this, I like to select all of the snapshots and hit Command J and join it so that there's no chance of it getting screwed up when you pull it into your multi, your full Sunday session. If you like to use song specific patches, you can also automate your patch changes. So to do this, just select the MIDI clip and adjust the program change to the patch number. So program with two dashes is no patch change. And if you want program one, this will be your first patch. Program two is your second patch, etc. And that's it. Once you've built your automation lane for a specific arrangement of the song, you don't have to do it again unless you change your patch order. So let's check out a demo of it working in action. This template is available in our Worship Ministry Toolkit linked below. Check it out to start implementing Helix automation with your setup and visit our channel to see even more ways that you can use Ableton Live for automation. In what ways do you use automation to lighten your load during services? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.